you've ever tried to make an animated controller for advanced character animation, you're probably familiar with something like this. What if I told you that this is just not necessary anymore? That you could create complex animation control in minutes rather than hours? Here we have Robot Kyle. However, he's a little bit more organic than before. I'm controlling Kyle with a joystick, but there is no state machine here whatsoever. I spent about 15 minutes setting up his motion matching animator and well, it just works. I could spend a lot more time still improving this, but for 15 minutes work, we have starts, stops, plants, turns, banks, and complex footwork. I never had to create a single blend tree, specify a state transition, or configure conditions. So what is this voodoo? Well, it's surprisingly quite simple. The technique is called motion matching, and it is a relatively new technology that handles animation in a completely different way than traditional methods. If used correctly, it has the advantage of highly fluid and organic character animation coupled with good responsiveness. It's worth noting that motion matching is not a novel technology, as it has been shipped in a number of AAA games developed by Ubisoft and EA, including For Honor, Ghost Recon, some EA sports games, and several others. Even the upcoming Last of Us 2 uses motion matching. This asset is my implementation of motion matching in Unity that I have been developing for over a year. Instead of playing individual clips in a blended sequence determined by a state machine, motion matching can swap to any animation pose at any point in time within your animation library. It does this by matching the character's current pose and future desired trajectory to all the poses in the animation database. Whichever pose matches closest is chosen and is blended in. This is continuously occurs every frame resulting in dynamic animation. That may sound a bit slow on the performance side, however the system runs lightning fast thanks to an implementation utilizing Unity jobs and a new burst compiler. There are 100 motion matched characters running simultaneously here on an i5 4 core system at over 60 FPS. Motion matching works best with specially constructed mocap data, but the system does support cut clips. For this reason, I have chosen to demonstrate with Unity's raw mocap data, which is not ideal for motion matching, however, it still gets acceptable results. Motion matching isn't just for locomotion either. If you can provide good animations and a solid gameplay model, then MXM can match it. It comes with a powerful event system which allows you to perform triggered actions such as attacks, jumps, vaults, or whatever you could think of. Event actions are matched in and out to provide a smooth and appropriate transition. The event system also has animation warping tech built in so you can line up animations with the environment or generate precision strikes with a sword to hit at the point you want and within the time frame that you want. To achieve things like stances, MXM includes a tagging system which provides control over how animations are chosen. Say for example you have a combat stance, you can tag all your animations in the combat stance with this custom tag and then request it during runtime. Often a challenge in animation systems is to have animations match gameplay. This is particularly difficult with mocap where humans just don't move, maneuver as fast as game characters, resulting in poor responsiveness. MXM ships with a powerful built-in speed manipulation tool that can generate new animations that match your gameplay. Using a blackboard for gameplay variables, you can apply those variables across your animations and the system will do all the heavy lifting for you. This is extremely fast for iteration as you can simply tweak blackboard variables rather than every single animation. It is also a non-destructive workflow as your original animations remain intact. Additionally, you don't need to worry about managing your new animation clip assets as they can be hidden away and embedded in a single file. MXM's job is to control the flow of animation and it produces an animation pose as an output every frame. It does not handle procedural IK or gameplay. However, Unity's IK system and third-party solutions like Final IK work with motion matching straight out of the box. 
Motion matching is like nothing currently on the asset store. If you're interested, feel free to ask questions. There are a lot of misconceptions about motion matching and I'll happily answer all of them. Also, feel free to read the documentation and watch video tutorials to get an in-depth understanding. Thanks for watching.